Hey, what's going on, everybody? Frankie Slauson here. Gotta figure, uh, sit down and whatnot, and uh, show you guys a tour of, I guess, my apartment. You know, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but uh, I figured, well, what the heck? I might as well. Uh, now that I got a nice little camera here that I can uh, uh, show show lots of things with, I figured, well, what the hell? Maybe I'll just show you guys a tour of my uh, apartment. Now, I tell you this, it's nothing impressive. I mean, it's very small. It has no bedroom. It's an efficiency, and you're probably wondering, why the heck would you want to live in an efficiency? You know, why not in a one-bedroom apartment or something like that? Well, you know, at the time when I first moved here, this was the only place that was available in my price range. And I realized two years ago, I was not making as much money as I am now the job I have. So, you know, income was a factor and whatnot. So, anyway, uh, I figured, well, I'll give you guys a little tour of my apartment. So we're gonna start off with, we're gonna start with the best first. Normal people, normally people will wait until the, save the best for last, but I'm gonna show you the best first. In my apartment, and realize this, that I am a single man, so if there's any of you ladies out there that wanna check out my apartment, please do. <laughs> or check me out, any way you want. <laughs> anyway, start off with this. This is my TV, my 52 inch RCA projection high definition TV. It does not get any better than this. I know a lot of people would prefer you know, the flat screen or whatever that you can put on the wall, but you know what? When I went and got this at Aaron's uh, Thief River, I, I, or out of Grand Forks, I, I said, nope, I want the biggest TV that you have at an affordable price. And this is what they had. This is pretty much the biggest that I could afford. Flat TVs are great. I mean, this is flat. It doesn't, you know, it, you, obviously you can't put it, up, put it on the wall. But it is flat enough to, uh, I mean, there's no, like, my parents' TV, they have a 27-inch TV that, uh, oh, I don't know, it's one of those Zenith TVs that uh, have the box and has that bubble effect, you know, with the glass and whatnot popping out or whatever. So like if you're watching a widescreen movie, the, the movie is kind of, the it just looks like it's 3D or, or like uh, this, it just looks weird. Uh, maybe that's just me, but just nothing but glass. Mine is projection, as you can see right here. <laughs> here I am. If you can see this, it, uh, yes, you, with this you can see your reflection, but it really gets, uh, really gets pretty, uh, bright in here, you know, the small apartment that I have. Uh, up there you can see, uh, I have a Logitech surround sound system, which is 5.1 surround sound, I believe 140 watts, perfect for a small apartment. As you can see, that's the subwoofer. And, it's here, you got one speaker right here, and I was able to get some mounts for the speakers here. But let's see. Got one speaker right here. And you got another speaker right over here. Alright. And kind of nice because, you know, I've got a lot of Logitech stuff because, you know, I've always wanted a Logitech system and I never thought, well, I had to be able to afford one. But as a single guy, I guess in, in some cases, single people have more money than most people in, in relationships. So. Who knows, maybe it's a big coup for me, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see, the next thing is my record collection. I have over 600 LPs, as you can tell. I have, well, I'm not going to play, you can see Steven Stills' album, and I have lots of classic rock, lots of, uh, you know, just a mix. You know, of course, clothes, everybody needs clothes, obviously. Uh, what else here? I can show you here. It is my record player slash CD player slash. Uh, it has a, a receiver as well with my two Kenwood speakers. One speaker, two speaker, and of course I got a DVD player. Got a DVD player here. VCR. And let's see. Of course, the bed over here. Like I said, nothing fancy, just a small apartment. I got, well, let's see, see what's in the fridge. 
Uh, I don't really have much in the fridge, but lots of pop, of course, but nothing too, nothing too impressive. You know. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, food in here. I got now this stuff. If you've never tried it, got to pick this up. This is Zata that terrains it's a New Orleans style rice anyway but it's very very good I got a lot of this crap because <laughs> I should call it crap but it's it's really really good stuff and I recommend it to anybody who really really likes good meals and because it comes in different flavors it, this is dirt that's dirty rice pork but this is jambalaya and sausage I don't know what's the other one they had another one too here Dirty rice with pork. Oh, red sausage, rice, or red beans and rice sausage. Or red beans and rice with sausage. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, that there. Then I got the Chef Boardy ravioli. Of course, Pop Tarts and whatnot. Ah, let's see. What was that? Got the door here. Got some Sony speakers that I'm selling here. Let's see one last time here. Sell for 50 bucks. I don't remember selling that my friends have this weekend. Uh, let's see what else. Put it in the closet here. I don't really have a whole lot. I mean, I have a lot of junk in here, as you can tell. But I have, you know, all this stuff. I need to organize this stuff here soon, but uh, I got, in here I got, what do you see in here? A bunch of cassette tapes or whatever. A lot of people don't really uh, use cassette tapes anymore. I don't know why. They pretty much make them obsolete now. You know. But I used to love listening to cassette tapes. Oh, let's see. I'll show you more of that stuff a little later. Let's see. And then, let's see. The biggest coup, of course, of, of any apartment. A person needs collections. And I definitely have plenty of that. Not only do I have a record collection and then a music collection, but I also have my DVD collection, as you can tell. I got a lot of DVDs. I got all the stuff. This DVD holder can only show you the front of the first or the top part anyway of, of the DVDs, you know. But like, like over here, over here, in order for me to pick out whatever movie I want to see, I got to like do it like this. Hold like that and say, oh, I'm not gonna be in the middle, you know. Or, you know, pick out one like this and say, oh, national security, you know. Should have organized all these, but I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of movies. You know, maybe not as much as, as uh, Cool Dude or as Sean Phillips, but uh, I got plenty that I'm proud of. On the bottom, I got all my TV shows and whatnot. Uh, I got everything from Home Improvement to Full House to. Everybody Loves Raymond, to Mr. Bean, to the Mr. Bean Animations, to Beavis and Butthead, to News Radio, King of Queens, a lot of stuff. And let's see. And of course, I, I got my collection that I'm proud of, my, my DeLorean collection. Back to the Future Part 1, Back to the Future Part 2, Back to the Future Part 3. Gotta love that. Got my Ghostbusters 2 poster. Got my Goonies poster, all from eBay. I got a Ghostbusters shirt. I got autograph pictures from people that I had on my radio show as guests. I have a Pioneer Night for One t-shirt, a Stick Cam t-shirt, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle poster, uh, articles that I did back when I was in school, that I did for the paper, local paper. A Ghostbusters, let's see if we can zoom on here. Real Ghostbusters, uh, uh, or comic books. Let's see what else? I got Teen Wolf poster, Ghostbusters 2 book, the original Ghostbusters 2 book that came out back in 1989 after the movie was released. I remember reading it at the Green Book's Library. And more comic books, a Back to the Future poster. So, I mean, I got a lot of stuff. And the final thing that I want to show real quick to end this video well, I also got a Ghostbusters 2 hat. A Gremlin style. I will be getting more eBay stuff eventually, collections like this. But one thing I'm really proud of, I just recently got with my computer. It comes with a 19 inch or widescreen LCD monitor. It's a compact Presario desktop. And I 
comes with 160 gig hard drive, uh, two gigs of RAM for a video card, and just, you know, the ultimate computer. High def surround sound, everything. I mean, it's just great. So, that's kind of a, a quick little tour of my apartment, and uh, hopefully you guys will subscribe. I'm gonna put my MySpace logo right on the side. I don't know if it's this way or if it's this way, but I'm gonna put my MySpace link on there. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching tour of my apartment.